Well, everyone, every single day that pretty much passes by, I just get so much more happier basically with how the iPhone success ended up pretty much holding up throughout the last few years of its life. Now, what I want to start off by saying is that the iPhone success isn't really a phone that I would pretty much recommend buying anymore. This is definitely like an outdated phone when it comes down to it. But you do have to kind of remember that with the iPhone success, this is one of those devices that had an extremely important impact for basically the whole entire duration of any iPhone that ever came out. The very first thing I want to state though is that although this phone isn't really worth it, just yesterday, this is the big thing, this iPhone ended up getting another update. Now I don't think, you know, it's competing you know, with the iPhone 6, the 6 ended up lasting way longer than I was really expecting. But with the iPhone 6s, what is so crazy about that iPhone is that that device ended up getting iOS 15.7.2. The fact that this iPhone from 2015 is still getting software support in and of itself is absolutely crazy to me. So when I look at an iPhone like this, although it wouldn't really be the first iPhone I would recommend to people, the fact that this iPhone ended up lasting that long is actually pretty crazy to me just from that perspective. But that's not all. When you also consider the fact that an iPhone like this ended up pretty much bringing some of the most important improvements with any iPhone is also something that's very important as well. So that is another big thing that we also have to kind of consider as well. When you kind of look at the whole entire duration of any iPhone, the fact that this thing ended up getting software support for as long as it did, the fact that it also ended up being pretty much the first iPhone with 4K camera support on the back, that was pretty big. This iPhone also ended up being, you know, one of the most powerful iPhones when it first came out and the fact that it was still able to support iOS 13, iOS 14, and iOS 15 updates as of right now is actually pretty insane. It's so much so in fact that I look at a phone like the iPhone 7 Plus, that phone I think arguably was way more powerful than the iPhone 6S Plus, but that iPhone also ended up getting the same software support as the iPhone 6S. So that is something that is actually very, very interesting. So when I look at something like the iPhone success in this day and age, I truly do think that this type of device is probably one of the most impactful ones when it comes down to it. So although this isn't the one that I would probably recommend buying for a majority of people, I think it's quite obvious this is you know, one of those iPhones that's going to be, you know, here today and gone tomorrow. This is still one of those iPhones that I think is probably going to be one of the most impactful ones of all time. So again, I look at the iPhone 7, I feel like that device could have probably been around the same thing as well. But as of right now, I think the iPhone success is still one of those iPhones that I truly do love a lot. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.